Hello brothers and welcome to the Baku Talk News. I'm Haru Ren. News in the Bakugan community has been spreading like wildfire. Just a couple days ago, Kimbo received and revealed the contents of the Darkest Bundle Pack. Now he has confirmed the contents in the Darkest Bundle and I remember someone put it in the spoiler chat of the wiki discord and Toolbox recorded the info down but I didn't know if it was the real thing. But now we got a look of what is truly inside and I do recommend going to Kimbo's video about it. Kimbo also showed off what is the Darkest Deck Box and and it is fabulous! Some of the cards of note though that's been reprinted is Magnus Ultimate Rival, which does me no good because I already got my playset. Also, Nova Burst is a card that's been rarely seen even with Age of Orlis out. Somehow barely anyone was able to pull it. Lightning from Age of Orlis also got reprinted too, but he didn't get the correction treatment of being called a Baku hero, and instead he's just a normal hero. And also he doesn't have the faction logo printed on his text box, which is weird and could be considered a misprint. The faction bundle also changed its main hex reprint card to Garganoid's Game. Even though when they previewed it at Toy Fair, the card was Maximus Nilius. It's unknown if this was a last minute change or some communication error, but that is certainly a drag since I was actually excited for Maximus Nilius reprint because the only person I know that has a full playset of Maximus Nilius is M Stubbs. Overall, what I think of the bundle pack, it's actually I think the worst out of the confirmed bundles. Maybe Garganoid's Gaze will come in handy. The inclusion of Magnus Ultimate Rival actually does encourage you to buy three of these bundles because his ability requires three to activate and you will get plus 900 plus nine continuously but getting all three of them out in one game is a pain but still a good marketing technique but yeah i'm not feeling it with this one it's so disappointed they changed out maximus nilius honestly i was half hoping that pact of darkness would be reprinted that would have been cool and in our next story brawler hq is reporting some new stuff that was sent to them we got aquas ventus max tor and zentor chaos pyrus garganoid and web seriously a pyrus darkest version chaos nilius and enoch ultra okay really that one i actually love chaos oralist trucks and nobilius ultra and on aquas and oralist version and pyrus darkest version of ventus knights fusion cindius and scorpion also, Chaos, Oralis, Hydras, and Trino Ultra. I actually really like these designs, but Maxtor and Zentor's fusion is a bit much, and at the thought of Garganoid and Weapons fusion is kind of scaring me a little bit. I'm really excited for Nilius and Enox fusion. Take my money already, please. And Brawler HQ has been on a roll about revealing new future product because we also got a look at Ventus Orlis Feral and Gilator Ultra, as well as Pyrus Orlis Sabra and Pyravian Ultra. Not to mention Darkest Orlis Pegatrix and Goreen Ultra. These are actually really awesome and exciting with some insane stats. The shields of Astroia Toy Wave are likely going to be some of the finest toy designs we've ever seen, and I can't wait for them to release. Although we don't know how much it'll cost to get Pegatrix and Gorin to fuse. Let me know what you guys think about these reveals in the comments down below, and let me know which ones you are most looking forward to. And in another report that surfaced, brought by Hardcore Lector, the Bakugan Coliseum is actually available to order on Walmart.com's website. Just throwing that out there, start crashing Walmart servers with your orders. Thank you for watching this episode of the Bakugan News. Be sure to press the like button and give us a subscribe for more awesome Bakugan content. I've been Haru Ren, and that was Bakugan. Bye!